Good morning, happy peoples. Hope you're having an awesome day. I hope you're having a warmer day than we are because it's a little bit cold out today. What do we have here? Hey, we're, we're warmed up to about 40 below. We actually hit about almost 50 below last night, which is pretty crazy, uh, but it's kind of normal for this time of year. So it's what it is. Um, but today I actually just got a call from Santa Claus at the Santa Claus house and half of his workshop is cold. So I'm gonna bring you with me to go check on his workshop. And I know they had a pump replaced, but you know, when Santa ain't happy, nobody's happy. So I'm gonna go attempt to go drive this 40 below weather because it's worth it. We'll bring you with me, exciting stuff planned for later today, but let's go fix Santa's heat first. Here we go. Quick tip, if you guys do end up moving to Alaska or if you already are here, if you're here, I'm sure you know this, but every time you pull out of the garage, make sure you see it go all the way down and wait a few seconds in case it doesn't pop up. Otherwise, that is some serious money, freezes out your house, pipes freeze, bad situation, but we're good, we're closed. Okay, we're off, we're off to save Santa. Looks like the boilers are working, so that's a blessing. I'm gonna go check the graphics and see maybe, I think what happened, they have some night setback. They're kind of like thermostats, just on a commercial level, that turn the temperatures back. And that's what the engineers wanted us to put in. I'm thinking I'll override that and just leave the heat on all the time because it takes too much to be able to bring a building up, you know, five degrees when it's 40 to 50 below. So I think that's what's going on. Boilers are running, praise God. Pumps are running. Okay, okay, we got this. All right guys, problem solved, figured it out. This is the coldest the Santa Claus has ever operated. And we had some parameters plugged in by the engineer to 85 degree air that blows in to heat the building. And that was not enough at 50 below. So I turned it up to about 100 degrees. I think 100 degree air should warm this place up nicely. These are just some of the changes that you have to do when you do uh, heating adjustments here in Alaska, guys, because it's so extreme. You kind of, This is like literally cold weather testing uh, every time you have a new house or a new commercial building like this. So, or new, at least a new add-on for this building. So I'm gonna get back to uh, wrapping this up. I think I think it's good. So I'm gonna go ahead to the store because my wife needs me to go buy some stuff because we've got something fun planned for today. So let me go get some stuff for her and hopefully the car doesn't break down because it's cold. a party yeah we're having a party it's gonna be so much fun we're inviting the whole family over our cousins because it's going to be a game night isn't that exciting buddy yep we're gonna get everything cleaned up and all ready for the party Now 
you're allowed to have fun with your cousins, but not too much fun. Oh yeah, the fun crisp be gone. failed on being on the vlog today. I've just been running around like a crazy person, getting stuff ready for tonight, having the whole family over again. It's awesome. We got to play some games, doing the Dutch Blitz action. Those of you who have played Dutch Blitz, pretty intense game. Settlers of Catan. Yeah, we're nerdy like that. I do want to fill you in a little bit. Um, my mom um, actually had to leave to go back home. She's from Maine. Um, her mom is not doing very well, so if you could keep her in your prayers, that would be great. She got there um, this afternoon. She left last night, so it's been kind of crazy. Um, she's going through a lot right now, and then her her mom is just not doing very good. So if you don't mind keeping her in your prayers, I would really, really appreciate that. I know she would appreciate that. And when you see your mom going through something like that, my heart's heavy because I know that she um, is going through a lot and like she's it, she struggles with being able to make decisions a lot of times and um, just going through that emotional roller coaster of of what what it all entails for her so please keep please keep her in your prayers that would be great it has warmed up quite a bit here um, I think it's probably about 30 below right now we did see 43 below last night and I was like holy guacamole thankfully oh my gosh guys I don't know if my babe shared this with you or not Yesterday we ran out of wood from our chop section and we didn't we couldn't go out really with the way Bert's leg has been feeling and go harvest more wood and it's super super cold. I was getting ready to possibly and then I was like, oh man, it's super cold and anyway, long story short, Bert's parents, Doug and Wendy, they went and brought us some of their wood out of their woodshed, put it in the back of their ML Mercedes <laughs> and brought it over to us and I was like, what are you guys doing? You don't need to be bringing us wood. I felt so bad, but so grateful at the same time because they were like, you guys need wood, we have wood. So I was like, wow, okay. And then I got a call from the lady at my church and we had asked her probably about two, three months ago, hey, do you guys have any wood that you'd be able to sell us? Because we knew we didn't have much time this summer to be able to cut and harvest all of our wood because we were finishing our house. She called me and she was like, we actually have a cord available cord of wood it's basically an amount of wood um and i was like yes we will take that and it was a good price and i was like this is so awesome right when we were getting ready we ran out of wood and this like wood gets dumped in our lap um and they end up bringing us like a cord and a half like it was above and beyond what we even paid for so i was just like super super floored um super grateful it was awesome just blessings blessings when things are just going just not good and just just hard and just you know you just those little things sometimes can make the world a difference so thank you for those people who have been blessing us it's been amazing and super humbling and just like wow god is at work so anyway I'm gonna go get back to the games. Um, let me know, what do you guys do when you are stuck inside due to weather? Being able to get out of the house, what do you guys do to stay entertained or have fun with? I'm super grateful my family decided to come over, hang out, beat these winter blues, and just have some fun. So let's go back to the party. Is that your favorite uncle? I think I'm her favorite uncle. Yes? Favorite uncle? Tell me the truth. Am I your favorite? Be honest. You can be honest. Am I? Okay, I'm your favorite. You're not allowed to cry. I'm your fi- Right? Okay. 
Can, can we edit that? Can we edit that? Such a great night with family. Always a good time. We always have fun. Doing games. Sister-in-law who's actually getting ready to leave, which is pretty sad. And we're just trying to spend as much time as we can together before they take off. But I wanted to touch on something. Let me set you down on the... Can I set you down here? Touch on something a little bit. Kids are actually getting the shower. So if you hear the shower, don't mind that. They're getting ready because church is tomorrow. Anyway, so this is, this is kind of something that has been asked um, by a lot of you is how do we deal with all this darkness, right? We are, we are running about three and a half, four hours of daylight and it can wear on you. Um, the sun, let me, hold on, where's my phone? 12th of January and right now the sun rises at 10, oh gosh, it's backwards guys, 10.29. 10.29 a.m. and sets at 3.25 p.m. Oh, we look, we're warming up 18 degrees below zero. That is way better than the 40 below we have been experiencing. And look at this forecast, what? What is that? That is like summertime. It's gonna feel like a heat wave. Heat wave, heat wave. Okay, what, what really helps me, and I'm gonna tell you guys, for maybe some of you guys that are coming here, that are moving here, that are visiting here, if you, if you wanna visit here during January. Anyway, being out of the house is definitely the best to combat the darkness because you're busy, you're doing something. Maybe you could go walk through a store that has bright lights, but if you can't get out, what do you do? You maybe do things like this, where you have people over, you know, that maybe live close in proximity um, and just kind of hang out and have game nights. Lots of light in your home is huge. They even sell these things that they're called happy lights and they're supposed to combat that lack of vitamin D. So basically it gives you an artificial vitamin D from the sun because we lack that a lot. Hence why most Alaskans look like this <laughs> because we have no daylight. Another thing that people do to combat the darkness here is they leave. They actually just book a vacation, January, February timeframe, and they hit the road and head on over to greener, warmer areas. And a lot of times we do try to schedule um, vacations during this time, but this year we can't afford it. So we are hunkering in and making do with what we got. A lot of it is mindset. Okay, this is a season. So be positive in your mindset of this will pass and springtime, summertime is coming. It's right around the corner. So hang on through these months. You're gonna get through it. Keep yourself active, hang out with friends, get some happy lights or be in an area. Go walk through Alta. Alta has one of the best lighting systems there is here in Fairbanks and it smells super good. <laughs> so go walk in that, you know? Um, and have a positive outlook on it because this too shall pass. And the summers are fantastic and this is what we do to enjoy them. We endure this so we can enjoy. This keeps this type of lifestyle and, and living where we're at during this time of year keeps the riffraff out and we, and we just suck it up and we endure it. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. I know that's been some of your guys' questions on how do we deal with all this darkness. Another thing that we were supposed to touch on, because there was, I wonder if my babe did. Okay, I'm gonna go ask my babe and see if he touched on this. If he has not touched on this, he is going to talk about it because it was huge. You guys had so many questions about it and we wanna make sure that we are answering those questions and accurately describing things. So let me go ask him real quick. Babe, did yeah. you touch on, oh, he's giving Buddy a bath. Okay. Did you talk to them and answer their questions about Bethel? Oh, oh no, I oh. didn't. You need to answer those questions. Which, there's a lot though. I know. But a lot of people that live in Bethel actually are connected to a lot of the, uh, a lot of the land. Uh, like a, they're like a shareholder for much of the oil that comes out of the ground. And there's a lot of, if, so if you have a percentage, you actually get paid quite a bit of money to be an Alaska native if you're part of the right tribe. So a lot of those people make pretty good money doing that. I'm not sure exact. Um, a lot of people just, uh, you, you saw those prices, but they'll actually order out from, you know, like Fred Meyer or Costco, like Bush orders. And that's kind of like the last ditch when they have to go to the store to buy fresh stuff because they understand how expensive it is. Bethel does have a lot of native corporations. So there are people that make some serious money that live there. That's really how they're able to afford to live. And I wish I could tell you that stuff, but I'm not an Alaska native, so I don't have the inside 
on all of that. But let me help you guys understand too, when we're showing you grocery shopping videos of a certain area of Alaska, remember Alaska is like what, the third the size of the US? So I mean, when you say Alaska, check like what area, how much things are, things are way different depending on what part of Alaska, if you're in Nome or Barrow or Bethel or North Pole, Fairbanks area. When you say Alaska, it doesn't mean a whole lot unless you like figure out what part of Alaska because things are so different on pretty much every part of Alaska. So that was just one little snippet of Bethel, of one area that things are pretty expensive, but believe me, in certain villages, they're even more expensive. So I don't know if that answers questions. I think but. that answers some of your questions. If that does not answer your questions, please let us know. We are trying to be as in informational as possible, but even like he said, we don't have all the answers. to make sure that we answer some of that for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us and our family. I know it was kind of probably like a crazy type vlog, but we hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave us a comment down below answering the question, what do you guys do to when you don't, when you don't have anywhere to go or you feel like you're cooped up in the house or whatnot. So let us know, comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed because you know, that helps our channel out. And um, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Let's send it over to the kids. Thanks for watching.